Hey everyone, Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA here. Just going to go over some design and color ideas with you today. Um, I get this question all the time. How do you create your color palettes? How do you get um, such uh, uh, coherent colors on your reports? So I actually have devised this, I guess, uh, development technique or um, strategy that I go through basically on all my more uh, intensive developments of, of Power BI reports um, because I'm big on colors and I want to make sure that uh, I have a visually appealing report that looks really good. Okay, so this was this particular report here was is an enterprise DNA showcase. You can uh, view the showcases via a link in the description below. There's about 50 uh, over 50 now, I think, uh, through uh, Enterprise DNA that you can actually um, utilize and, and see um, see what they do. But this is one that I've gone over uh, at a recent summit, so I created for a recent summit. And it has an interesting color palette, right? This is certainly not a standard one that you can find anywhere here, um, you know, from some of the inbuilt stuff uh, that Power BI uh, team make available, okay? So, but what I do, how, how do I how do I get this grouping of colors quite quite easily that look good on a page, right? Now I'm going to show you a couple of really um, cool websites that allow me to do it. Now the first one here, okay, is palettefx.com, okay. So www.palettefx.com. Now this is a seriously cool site. What it allows you to do is place any picture in here and then get the colors that are within um, that particular picture uh, so you know you might see a picture that you like or some design on the uh, online that you might like and you can place it in here and then get all the colors that um, are associated to it now I want to show you I'm just gonna open this up now I found this particular random picture online um, of this grouping of colors I think back back when I actually did it I typed in sort of purple and gold that's I think that's all I did and this is one of the images that came up on Google. So all I did, I downloaded this image and then I placed this image into here. Okay, so all I did was I then went and grabbed uh, this particular image. So let me find it here. I think it's down here, one of my folders. So here it is here. So I'm just gonna click on it. And then by doing that, I was able to then get these key uh, numbers here, these hex numbers, right? And it's a, it's, but it's a coherent palette that sticks to this sort of color theme, okay? And if I click through here, it gives me all of the different, so it gives me a whole range of things, but the key things we need here are the one, what I'm highlighting now, the hex colors, right? And I can click through and click through and get all the colors I need. So that's basically how I do it. That's a key, the key, one of the key steps is I, go to, I just go here, palette FX, and get the colors like that. Now, sometimes you can get enough colors to make up an entire palette for Power BI because what you'll notice if you've ever done this before or done any sort of color work um, palette creating a palette inside of Power BI is you actually need more than five okay now what I've got here is just a, a simple text file which is in the correct format you can actually download this from the Power BI from the Power BI desktop so Power BI desktop in the um, appropriate location but basically this is how you need to set things out right and all I try and do is I try and change these particular hex values here which is what is going to make up my palette. And you'll see here that I've actually got nine that I need to make up, okay? So how do we fill in those gaps to actually create this complete palette? Now, the way we do, I do this um, personally, there's a few ways, but I go to this website called coolers.co, okay? Basically, all I do is I, you can use it for free, which is amazing, is I then go and create a um, palette-based off the core colors here. So what you can do is you can input the hex values here, and then um, once you've put in a few of these ones, so you've got the sort of outline of your palette, what you can do is you can update this particular palette here, and it will go and create new colors which work with those particular colors, okay? And then give you new hex values uh, that you can place into the template um, file that you can upload into Power BI. So that's really it. That's, it's a simple two-step process um, in terms of generating the palette. In most cases, sometimes I don't even need to go here because I can just get all my colors from here. Um, it gives me sometimes 15 colors that I can choose from. And then all I do is I pop them into here and then 
uh, once I'm here, I just go in here and import my theme. Once I've set it up as the correct file and then um, importing my theme. So I'm not going to show um, exactly how I do that because I've shown that before. I just wanted to show you my sort of methodology around how I create these colors, this grouping of colors that, that works well together. Now, another big thing is like, as I, I, even though I create this palette and you get this entire, um, let me have a look here, this entire palette that you can utilize, I still actually only use a few of the colors, really the top line, okay? So the top line is the sort of the main colors that came out of, um, that came out of here, right? These, this is sort of the top line in the palette inside of Power BI. I mainly stick to these colors because I'm not big on using huge amounts of colors on report pages. If uh, what I find is if I'm using a lot of different colors, I've got I've probably got too much information on my report. Okay, so usually I'm only utilizing between you know, seven, you know, five, six, seven colors in a in an entire report. In a lot of cases, a lot of the showcases that I use. And um, yeah, and that, and that comes down to because you know I obviously wanted a certain palette, a certain coloring look inside of my report, and that's how I, this is how I created it. And so I use those colors that um, that ha has given me um, to represent what I wanted. Okay, so that's all I wanted to cover. Um, short and sweet today. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that one. Hopefully you can utilize these particular uh, websites and techniques and in, in, in my methodology and some of your own um, designs and your own uh, report pages that you are currently working on. If you enjoyed the video and got a, got a bit out of it, uh, certainly throw it a like. Really appreciate it, and don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Lots of lots of great stuff coming out to you um, all the time. Okay, take care.